Good morning, grade six. I am here on a Tuesday morning and it's snowing outside. Um, I hope some of you will be able to go in your backyards today and enjoy some of the snow, even though we're all practicing social distancing. Um, and I'm here today to give you a tutorial of how to use Google Classroom in the ways that we need to use it the next few weeks. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen now and hopefully it will work in the video. This is the first time I'm trying this, okay? It's sort of like I'm Chrome casting in our classroom on the board, but instead it's my screen, okay? So I'm here um, on the Google Classroom page and there are a few key points I want to go over with you in this first video, okay? I will go over individual assignments in other videos. Um, the first two things I want you to look at um, are the two things at the top here um, under People of Sparks Remote Learning, okay? Now, when you first log in to Google Classroom, it will take you to the stream, and you can find things there too, sure, um, but the stream is not as well organized, okay? So you need to go into Classwork, and then you'll find the top two with the little house emojis. That means remote learning. Um, you're learning from home right now, okay? Um, you're going to look at grading info. And I've left a little paragraph for you and your parent or guardian to read. But essentially, I'm just grading your reading responses, okay? Your reading uh, review pages that have 12 questions, right? Um, they are worth 12 points each. Um, so for every box that you answer, it's worth one point. Um, you can receive one point half a point or zero points on each individual box. It depends on how full your answer is and it depends on if you've made an attempt to answer a question. If you leave a box blank and you're confused on how to answer one of the questions, then you can ask me or email me and I will let you try that box again when I answer your question, okay? So it's a little bit flexible. I will allow you after you've received your final grade on one of your review sheets um, to resubmit it one time, okay? You can resubmit it only once because we have to move on. So you should try your very best the first time you do it, and then the second time, hopefully you'll be able to make up for any uh, missed points, okay? I won't be grading very, very harshly on these, but I will expect you to fill out the boxes to the best of your ability, okay? Um, this video will be actually posted under remote learning videos. I'll try to post videos almost every day to help you with your assignments. The second thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is this box assignment due dates on Google Classroom. It's very clear when things are due, okay? Um, you need to read the book at a good pace. Uh, you have two assignments due this week, one on Wednesday and one on Friday. We have already started chapters one to four and a half together on Friday. If you were not here, you maybe had some time to do it, and maybe you didn't. And if you're falling behind, just let me know, okay? Um, and then we have chapters five to nine due on Friday with the review page. You can turn in your review page under review table, chapters one to four and a half. Some of you have already started using the comment section under the assignments, that's going to be a really good resource for a lot of you to use while we're using online learning. Um, I get back to you pretty quickly, almost more quickly than I would in an email, but of course you can email me as well and your parents or guardians can email me. Um, but if you do this on Google Classroom, um, it is on a Google slide that is already made for you, okay? So you'll type in the boxes and then you'll click the turn in button so that I know when you're done, okay? There are some questions on here as we read the book, like what are Torin's character traits? And then I have documents for you to view. You can just click on a document and view it, okay? Um, it didn't work for me that time that I did it, I think because I'm sharing my screen with you. But you should be able to click on it. It is a PDF, and I've listed some character traits for you to choose from. Your assignments are in chronological order, okay? So from top to bottom, your most uh, recent assignment, chapter one to 4.5, your first one should be closer to the top of the page. So you should be able to find everything okay. That was the bell. 
Um, it's a little strange without all of you here, but we'll manage. And then your second assignment here, I do have instructions under each assignment. I have the chapter titles in case you need the chapter titles, um, because this book is a little strange. Sometimes the chapters don't have numbers. Um, so I've numbered the chapters for you, and hopefully that'll make it more clear. Um, it does help me. We're going to wrap up here. It does help me if you give me more feedback, like, I don't know how this works. I don't know how to answer this question. Um, I think that this file isn't working, um, or I need more explanation on this assignment. Some of you have already been jumping on it and already really good with asking questions about how to answer things and how to do your assignments. If you just keep that going for me so that I know um, how to help you, that would be the best thing, okay? Um, that's all I've got for this first video, and I'm going to stop presenting now, and it's just me and not my screen, um, and hopefully we can do the first two assignments this week and see how that goes. Um, some of you have requested Chromebooks, and we will get those Chromebooks to you if you've requested them um, by tomorrow, okay? We're going to have a weekly pickup at school every Wednesday to pick up work if you need to. Okay, so there is the option to do your work on paper. Obviously for middle school, we're going to try to stay digital. We're gonna try our best, okay? And I'm always available on email. I am going to still contact your parents throughout the next three weeks um, so that we can stay in touch and I can see how you're doing with your assignments, see what you need help with. Um, but we'll mostly be on Google Classroom and email. Okay, um, that was the first video. We're going to wrap it up now. I'm going to stop recording and I'll hopefully be able to make you another video really soon. Okay, go enjoy the snow, but practice social distancing. All right, bye.